Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate and merge MIDI in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with one MIDI item, but it has three MIDI parts all in one item. There's a drum part, a piano part, and a synth. Let's hear it. And the way it's routed, the MIDI on this track is sending to audio plugins on these three tracks. For our drums, for our piano, and our synth. But like I said, all the MIDI is in one item. So if I double click it, we can see it all in the MIDI editor. And it's kind of confusing because it looks like it's playing on top of each other, but each part is actually on different MIDI channels. And we can see each part by going over here and switching the MIDI from all channels to the individual channels that it's on. Notice channel one through three have a dot on the left side, letting us know there's MIDI on that channel. So if we go to channel one, with the filter on, we're just going to see the drums, even though it's all going to play. I can solo the drum track and just hear that. Or we could switch it to channel two, and we just see the piano, which we could hear if we solo the piano. And the same thing for our synth. We could switch it here to channel three and just hear the synth if we solo that track. Let's put it back to all channels where we could see them all at the same time. Now, if you want to edit on MIDI and we don't want to go down here and choose the channels, we could separate the MIDI by MIDI channel into their own separate items. So let me show you how to do that. And make sure we select the MIDI item, and we could right click it and go down here to item processing and choose the option explode multi channel audio or MIDI items to new one channel items. Let's choose it. And Reaper creates three new tracks with each MIDI item on them, channel one, two, and three. And the original item is now muted. So we could delete it if we don't need it, and it's still gonna play the same way. But now our MIDI parts are separated. Channel one, channel two, and channel three. So if you want to edit any of these parts, we could do it more easily in their own editor. Just double click for our drums, and we can see all the drum notes right here. We'll do the same with our piano, and edit our piano in its own editor. And the same for our synth. So now that they're separated, we can move each item to their own tracks, to the tracks where the audio is coming from. Let's move the drum item down here, the piano down here, and the synth down here. And now we don't need any of these tracks. So each part has their own item on their own tracks. But we could still separate it even more. 
like for the drum tracks, there's a different instrument on each note. Like C1 is our kick, D1 is our snare, F1 is our four tom, and G1 is another tom, and C2 is a higher tom. So let's say we wanted to separate each one of these notes to their own item. We could do that as well. Let's close this and let's select the drum item, right click it, go to item processing, but this time choose explode MIDI item by note row or pitch. So it's going to create a different MIDI item for each note, just the notes in our performance. So let's choose this and it created different MIDI items for each note. The original is muted, so we can delete it. And let's solo the four tom, our kick, or our snare. And if we want to edit just the kick, open up the editor just for this item. And here's our kick MIDI item. Or the snare. And the four tom. And so on for the other toms. Making it a lot easier to edit each drum note separately. But now let's say when you're done, you want to put this all back together. Or maybe you started this way, programming your MIDI, and you wanted to merge your MIDI into less items. We can still do that. Just select all the MIDI items for our drums, then right click and go to Item Properties. Under Item Mix Behavior, change the option to Items Always Mix. And then make sure we turn off under Options, Trim Content behind media items when editing. If we leave this on, each item we put on top of each other is gonna delete or trim the previous one. So make sure you turn that off. Then we can select each one and drag them to the drum track right on top of each other. And by doing it this way, all the drums are gonna play on this track. But each item is still separate. But we can put them all together or merge them by double clicking this track, right click, and go down here to glue items. And that's going to create one item with all the drum notes inside it. So we'll put it all in one item. And we can do the same with the other parts, our piano and synth. Let's delete these unneeded tracks. And let's do the same thing with these. We can merge them. Let's make a new track for all the MIDI. Name it MIDI. And once again, select all these items, right click it, go to item properties, item mix behavior, and switch it all to items always mix. Then we can just drag them one by one, our drums, piano, and synth, select them all by double clicking the track and glue them right here. And once again, all our parts are back together in one MIDI item. We merge them, but we can still see them separately over here. Channel one, is our drums, channel two is our piano, and channel three is our synth. But now to hear it, we need to send the MIDI to each one of our audio tracks, the tracks with our instrument plugins. So we can create a send by dragging the routing from the MIDI track to our drums, no audio, just MIDI and MIDI channel one. So now it's gonna send just the drum channel, channel one, 
to this track. So it triggers it. And do the same with our piano, no audio, MIDI channel two, and finally, our synth. No audio, and just MIDI channel three. And just like that, we merged our MIDI back to one MIDI item for all three parts. And we can see them all right here. So that's pretty much it. That's separating and merging MIDI in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!